Hi guys, welcome back to LS Text. Today I'm going to be doing a setup guide on setting the projector from GoBang Do to Android TV Box. So I've just connected all the cables, so from the HDMI cable to the power cable is all connected. I'll show you that in detail later onwards. As you can see, it's now working, and I've got a white screen set up. So this is my Android, my phone, as you can see. It's pretty big. I can go bigger if I want to. Just have to put that, put the projector further back. But as you can see, it's working. So let me just go to source and pick HDMI. Let's see if we should, yeah, okay. I've got my Android box coming up now. That's working. Working fine. So I can just go. Let's pull if I say I want to put on a movie. And it's playing at full HD at 60 frames, says the corner. So let me put on a movie now, guys. Let's see how it works. So, as you can see, guys, you can watch movies on this big screen. And you can put the projector further backward. I can zoom in if it's too big, or I can zoom out. As you can see, if I zoom out, it's going out of focus. That's because I'm too close to the too close to the screen. I can paint the perfect size and see when it is the sharpest. So here, looks like it's really sharp and the angles are good. So right now, I've just got a bit of light in my room. I'm just going to turn that off. See how it looks. Let's turn off all the lights. So now all the lights are turned off. And you can see that it's pretty clear. It's not crisp, crisp sharp, but it's still sharp and it's still watchable. So if you're watching 720 movies like online, you won't have any problems using this projector. You can see it's really nice. <coughs> so the projector is really nice. It works really well, as you can see, guys. Now, I'm just going to show you how loud the projector is. So I'm just going to bring the camera closer to the projector. Let me show if you can hear. Can you hear it? So now the camera is just above the projector guys. So let's see how noisy it is. So yeah guys, the projector does just make some noise, but if you put on the volume of the TV or movie, you won't hear the noise and it's not that loud loud, it's just a small hinty sound it's making. So yeah guys, let me just show you how to connect all of these things together. I'll show you how to connect the Android TV box to your projector, well anything to your projector. So I'm using my Android TV box, I've got my Android box here. Just got the power, HDMI, Ethernet, and my controller connected. And this is the projector itself. This lens came up. Okay. So, what I want to do is connect the power cable which goes in here. So, I'm going to get the power cable. That will just go on this side. Slide in like that. See? Then I want to get the other, the other end of this HDMI cable. And that's just want to go in on this side. There's the HDMI port, as you can see. Let me see if I can focus. So just want to go in there, guys. So just plug it in. And now it's plugged in. So that everything you need to plug it in. It's plugged in now, guys. See if I turn on, it should work probably fine now. But if you want to connect anything else in, you just want to so take this HDMI cable. If you just got the cable here, you can connect that to your laptop, your, P your PC, or you can connect it to your PlayStation. You can play games on it. So this projector is really good, and for the price, you can put this up with your. Android box and have a great setup, play games, watch movies, do a lot of great things, which is really nice. So you can try everything out. I'm just gonna mess around with it now. But this is how you connect your 
Go bang. Go bang. Do. Project it to your Android TV box and get a big screen and enjoy movies. You don't have to enjoy movies, you can play games as I said before guys. But I hope you like this video, stay tuned for more videos like this. Please, please subscribe and stay tuned guys. Thank you.